We're here with Rodney Arden, recon rep at Lingi Red Bull Racing. Did you commission a manual flight control system today? Today our plan was to go and uh, find the best breeze. We've been testing some sails the last uh, couple of days, as you probably saw on the declaration. And the best breeze was uh, down off Bartolona, so we towed down there to uh, see if we could get that breeze to do some sailing that we had planned. You know, usually when you're tow testing the AC40, it looks a lot steadier than what we saw today. Is there anything new about a flight control system? Is it refined? Uh, well, we've had the benefit of building a flight control system for our AC75. So we've, uh, when we fitted out that boat, it's been from day one we've had to build a system. So we're, I think we're pretty well under control with our, our flight control. Will you be taking this yacht, the AC44, to Jeddah? The plans to do some out of class uh, sailing in, in Jeddah prior to the regatta, yeah. Yeah, so the sea state in Jeddah is generally flatter than Barcelona over the winter months. Will that serve as a better testing area for, for these yachts? Yeah, potentially. I think everyone's looking forward to getting there and uh, yeah, I think the conditions will be really good. Um, we've got to be a little bit careful that we don't get too comfortable in flat water because ultimately the racing is going to be going on here. But there's definitely things where flat water testing will really benefit us. So ahead of Alinghi's defense of the cup in 2007, Alinghi set up a winter base in Dubai yep. for training and testing. I believe you were there with them. Correct. Do you plan to keep a winter base in Jeddah after the preliminary regatta? Uh, it hasn't really been 100% decided. Uh, we, you know, we had mixed uh, results over the winter here in Barcelona. So, um, yeah, I mean, anything's possible. Yeah, so the winter, you had your winter base here in Barcelona last year. What were the pros and cons of training and testing here? Well, I mean, I think even the race period that we have, uh, September, October, is maybe like a little bit out of season and not, you know, potentially the best conditions that Barcelona offers. The winter was pretty mixed, I would say, and we, you know, we had some plenty of big jobs to do on the 75 anyway with the, the jib track and some other, you know, installing the cyclores over the winter. So it got broken up through projects as well as the weather, so we've managed to uh, achieve everything we wanted to over the winter here last time, but I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. So what's the plan for Boat Zero here in Barcelona? Yeah, we're going to continue sailing this boat all through the winter and, uh, and uh, yeah, it's always valuable to get feedback from the, the cycling systems and the, the logic and everything that we try on that boat, so it's going to continue to sail. Rodney, thank you for your time.